Hey guys, this is Candle, and uh, some of you may know, but I re I built the, the new spawn for uh, the current version of Mongoose Country. Uh, I'm sorry I hadn't done a tour video yet, I just kind of forgot about it, and so because of this, and we no longer have the old map, I can't show off my castle build. However, Potato has already done his own tour of, of the spawn, and uh, he also featured my, my unfinished castle build from the last map on a server Saturday, so go view those if you want to see them. But anyways, here's my tour of the spawn that I built in about a week, week and a half uh, after having spent a month working on a previous version that ended up getting lost because of a uh, uh, major rollback and problems with the host and everything. But anyways, here we are. Uh, just doing slash spawn or, or coming in just puts you right on this little platform here. But we'll just go ahead and go up to the main entrance here. Now the whole idea for this spawn was to take my, my old community tower idea from uh, Jolly Roger and, and redo it for Mongoose Country. Eventually I will go back to my original plans for the Jolly Roger, Roger community tower and, and build that. But uh, this plan itself also got a little edited because there was supposed to be uh, two docks. Like one on each side coming off of like right here. And uh, at that point you would have... Uh, spaces for four ships and then you could have an airship on the back and those would be the ways we got to uh various large builds like nubtown and so on nubtown was originally supposed to be like a a, 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 a kind of like a, a harbor town but it didn't end up quite working like that and you can see some people's builds here to begin with i'm, I'm really liking that people aren't just uh building right up to the tower and they're also not just building way off in the distance where you can't see it but anyways, we'll go ahead and go into the, uh, the entrance room here, which is basically this circular uh, platform here. I mean, it's got stairs down to the, the shop level, but the, uh, the entrance is kind of just a, a circular walkway. And originally the donation center was going to be back here. And, and shoot, I knew I forgot something. I kind of wanted to put in some like seating and, and uh, flowers and stuff back here, but I guess I completely forgot. Uh, I did have a little bit of help uh, on this tower from Count Juno88, uh, who some of you guys may know from Lord of the Craft or Celestial Dreams. Uh, a lot of uh, the intricate scroll work you'll see around here was his touch. Um, anyways, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and uh, go down before we go up. So let's get back around to the front here. And I've got a little bit of a frame rate problem, don't I? Oh, well, it's not too bad. Anyways, coming down to the uh, the sea level floor is basically where all the shops are. Uh, here we have a cafe. It's supposed to be like food shops and everything. The server just updated to uh, to 1.5.2, so all the, the NPCs aren't all back yet. Um, basically, this is just a cafe where you'd buy foodstuffs and so on. Uh, all the shops are organized via the uh, uh, creative inventory system. Well, that, that, that was how it was intended, at least. Here you got the picks and hoes shop. For uh, This is basically tools and everything. Uh, next around is weapons and armor. Basically the, the combat tab. So you've got some little training dummies here and, and other things. A little sword on the wall. Corey decorated uh, almost all of these shops. I only did a couple of them. So uh, Corey is Count Juno. For those of you that don't know. Here we've got the brewing shop called the Witch's Brew. Nice little brewing stands and everything. It, every shop has an ender chest. That way people can access their inventory from any, any shop. And they don't have to carry everything with them. Uh, items, items, ores, and dyes. This is the materials shop. Just a whole bunch of, of other stuff and, and so on. This is the enchanting shop. It's called Enchanting uh, Tales. This one I actually built myself. You can see it's kind of like a mini library here. You've even got access back here up to a little platform and everything. Somebody wants me to, to uh, teleport to them. I'm going to deny that because I'm in the middle of something. And I'm going to try to figure out what is causing my stuff here. We'll, we'll just bump that down to a little bit more than normal. There we go, that should be fine now. There we go. Anyways, uh, this is Smith's Repairs. Yeah, this is a blacksmith 
shop. You can get stuff repaired and everything. Yeah, it says, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know how to reforge that because I'm just kind of holding on to nothing. What about my pick? 779 to reforge. Can I? Ah, I don't have enough money. Yeah, i kind of just been ignoring the, the in-game economy a bit. Um, over here is the miscell miscellaneous shop called Odds and Ends. You got beacons and jukeboxes and... and whole bunch of other stuff and around here is rails and carts and I just realized I need to probably turn my brightness up for you guys there we go now you can actually see everything yes carts or rails and carts this is the transportation shop and there is something odd with some of the textures on this texture pack it's like turn the the diagonal rails into mossy cobblestone I don't know why Maybe it's something up with, with 1.5.2. The the texture pack I'm running, it, it's still Conquest, but it's the 1.5.1 edition. So maybe there's just something wrong with uh, 1.5.2 on this. Anyways, Engineering Heaven. This is basically where all your redstone stuff is. Doors, buttons, uh, redstone dust, and so on. Repeaters. Landscaping and Decor. This is the decoration blocks. And he kind of went overboard on the uh, vines. It's covering absolutely everything. But I think you guys kind of get the gist of, of what this shop is about. And then the final one here is building blocks. It's called construction supplies. Basically all your standard blocks, you can buy them in here. And then right in the center here, we have the donation center. Uh, all, all the different kinds of, of donation kits are, are available here for purchase using the... Uh, the token system, which are basically un, un, yeah, unlit redstone blocks. Uh, we'll kind of just come up in here a little bit to check out some of the, the details I've, I've done here. I love messing around with, with uh, steps, upside down steps and, and the corner steps and everything. I just love the way all those work. So we're just going to pop in here as well because, ooh, somebody, there we go. But because I, I put a, a good bit of detail into uh, this area as well. I mean, even just popping up right there. Oh, that didn't quite work. But anyways, you guys saw that. Anyways, we're going to come over here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and go... Oh, wait. No, I wanted to keep going down. Yeah, we're going to go down. Okay, down here is basically where all the farms are. And yes, I did the, uh, uh, what you call it, the uh, uh, the ceiling myself. And that's new with 1.5. The the conquest lapis blocks are are bordered with uh, stone brick. That's new. Stone brick or cobblestone or something. But anyways, uh, this is the the farm area. I know it doesn't quite look like much right now, but just keep on going down the stairs as they twist around and here we go everything's kind of uh, divided in, in in quarters you've got the wheat farm here on this side you've got oh can't get get there quite yet uh, this side you've got sugarcane and there's a uh, glowstone block missing I don't know why but you've got sugarcane and pumpkins on the other side it's pretty much the same thing but it's uh, watermelons instead of pumpkins and then here you have uh, Take the logs in the chest before planting. Also, if a tree is planted, destroy it and put it in the chest. Thank you, guy who cleaned up. What happened? I have no idea what happened here. But, yeah, this is the uh, the tree farm. It's, it's like a high efficiency. It's like 85% efficiency, generally. Right now, it's not quite so much because people haven't quite been replanting it the way they're supposed to, but whatever. Whatever works. Okay. Now, this is the drop pit to the jail. The stairs do not go to the jail. We'll go on the stairs in a second, but this is the drop pit to the jail. You just come in here and drop down and get out of here, and then this is the jail. Nice little cells they're uh, like three by four cells only two blocks tall it gives people a chest that they probably can't use when they're jailed and there is a, always some kind of head staring at them uh, as they sleep 
the first two cells are skeleton heads followed by creeper and then zombie and finally wither skeleton heads which look a lot like furnaces with weird skull faces on them in this texture pack and then anyways this takes us if I can get to the sign there we go this takes us back to, out to the main spawn so let's go ahead and get back down to the farm level because I still want to show off the mine which Potato didn't show off because I'm not sure he realized it was there uh, let's see we'll just drop down there there we go yeah I'm not sure Potato realized the mine was here I didn't put any sign saying it was a mine or anything so I don't know whether or not people are actually using it, but it's a, it's a multi-level mine and it does not look like people are using it because I would assume this would be the first one they would do. Uh, no, maybe some people are using it. Or did I just leave all that open? Like, no, I think some people are using it. But anyways, I kind of made these little tunnels here hoping that people would continue them on, basically continue on the design to make things look really nice. Uh, each level has four tunnels, one in each direction. And basically you just keep on going down the spiral in order to get to them. Okay, here's the, the second level. I think there's like three levels total. Three or four, I don't remember. But it doesn't look like people are really using them all that much. I mean, it looks like somebody started here, but... I don't know. I, I would like people to, to use this more, but they don't have to. I mean, there is also another mine in the uh, in the, the Nubtown. I'll, I'll end up showing that off because I made the Nubtown Basics as well. Okay, there are four levels. No, this is the, the last level. Yeah, three levels. And I was just killed or hit by a creeper. Yes, there are monsters that spawn down here. And there is a little station right in the back of the, the staircase here for everybody to, to build everything off of. Yeah, people are using it, so... That tunnel goes on for a good ways. I'm not going to keep going. But anyways... Um, like I said, I I put a lot of, of effort into this place, and I, I really only did build it... Why the hell did somebody go through the wall? Why would you go through the wall? The whole point of the, the, the four tunnels in each of the walls is to use those, not going through the wall. Come on, people. What is wrong with you? I, I just... <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start going back up. You know, why am I doing this? We'll just do this. Come on. Hey. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go up to the next level. We'll just skip some of the everything there and people for some reason decided to open up the shutters on the uh, on the whatchamacallits the the lanterns anyways here we have the kit houses where people pick up their uh, their tokens and everything yeah don't forget to check upstairs because you have uh, stuff here you have them here and there's also an upstairs up here where there is like a whole bunch more of chests and everything. So yeah, this is the kit house. It's kind of a, a little uh, house built into the this floor of the tower. Uh, also on this floor of the tower is the nether portal. It's bigger than your average nether portal. Uh, by like one block in either direction, I believe. And it also it has a little bit more intricacy to the the whole total design we've got the warp wall which is how you warp around to various major or important builds the only one on here right now is the end farm although you should be able to do that just from going straight from the end portal which is this here basically the the whole idea behind that up there was it was kind of like a cover stone for it um, and then we have this nice spiral staircase where Cory, uh, uh, Juno made the, the original one on the, uh, old version of, of this tower, 
but I kind of had to do this one by hand as well. But I still kept it pretty much exactly the same, I think. But it's it's a really nice spiral staircase, and I am really liking the uh, the the cobblestone lined or uh, the the uh, stone brick lined lapis. I mean, I like the the whole block lapis as well, but the the lined lapis works really well. But anyways, going up brings you to this level, which is kind of just the the first battlement level or of the thing where you can check out people's other builds. I have no idea what that's going to be. Uh, you can see the, the road, the, the tunnel. We'll go through that later. And again, there's somebody else's lighthouse tower or whatever uh, that you can see off in the distance. And you can check out the outside of the, the tower a bit here. But we're actually going to go up the stairs, and we're going to actually walk up the stairs. It's a, it's a double helix uh, spiral staircase. It continues pretty much, uh, it's the exact same thing as, as on the lower level. And... Uh, in the center here is also a double helix spiral chandelier with uh, uh, glowstone that is linked by iron fences or yeah iron bars and then even continuing on with a double helix like DNA type theme uh, at intervals the uh, op opposing glowstones are linked by glass panes. Anyways we'll just keep on going up here by the way these are snow blocks right here linking with the uh, lapis via diamond blocks and yes it, it is a bit of a climb to get up but it's still worth it because up above is where the uh, three level library is yeah, right here we have the the main floor of the library you've got a nice uh, another kind of spiral uh, lantern or uh, uh, chandelier hanging down from the center with a little platform uh, down below and a nice uh, circular fountain basically waterfall whatnot that is held in via uh, pressure plates but on the first floor here we have plenty of books with plenty of lighting uh, and places to sit and read and so on nice little couches made by uh, using corner stairs uh, back here you've got another little reading nook more books contained uh, there's no, really no point going all the way around the, the whole room because it, it's very much like a cookie, uh, cookie cutter type thing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, every time I hear people say cookie cutter, it, it's like they're saying it's a bad thing, but it's it's really not. Anyways, we have books up top here. We also have uh, spiral staircases in each of these turrets winding around a column of books, but it bl brings us up each level. Uh, the next two levels are identical, but there there's... There's really not anywhere to sit and read or anything. That's mostly for the, the, the lower floor. But there are plenty of books and everything, both at the bottom, up top, and in the book double-sided bookcases. So anyways, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue up another level. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, <clears throat> again, we've got the, the same level again. I, I almost wish I had done something a little bit more intricate with the ceiling here, but I didn't. So anyways, we'll go ahead and go up to the next level, which is the start of the attic section. And up here is the giant ender portal, which uh, links us to the the dragon uh, instance where people can, can fight all the dragons. Originally, it was just a giant uh, ender portal, but unfortunately, they were having problems getting it to link to the dragon instance. Uh, apparently, it was still taking them straight to the, the end itself. So we ended up, ended up having to pull out the, the end portal itself and replace it with water. It still has a nice effect in everything. Anyways, this is the uh, uh, interior of the attic. Plenty of upside down stairs for the roof and everything. And we've got that double spiral staircase again, which takes us up to the observation deck. Which is basically the, just four points where you can go out and get a nice view of the surrounding area and everything. I uh, can't quite see so much right now because I'm on uh, just past normal view. And then there's another tiny spiral staircase which takes us up through the beacon because this place is also a lighthouse. Up through the beacon into the attic proper, like the true attic, uh, which was originally intended to be like a, a, a mod suite or something like that, kind of like a little apartment, but there just really wasn't 
all that much room to make it to do that and make it look nice. So, anyways, we're going to uh, zoom out through the top here, take a look at the roof. Uh, the original, oh yeah, it, I still did that. Uh, there are a lot of uh, stairs and, and corner stairs to try to smooth out some of the edges here. Uh, each of the the turrets has their own single color pendant. Up above the beacon is a uh, a dual color pendant and everything else and I have no idea which direction I really want to go in because I want to get back to the uh, okay I'm on the back of the tower I can go ahead and take a nice little look at everything there anyways I want to get across and down to the road and go through the tunnel <laughs> There we go. You can kind of see the entrance to the tunnel here. Uh, the, Juno did the, the design in the center of the road. I did the uh, the lampposts and the bridge itself, which I want to come over here so that you guys can see it. Uh, I, I just thought it was a nice little idea to, to have these uh, multiple big pillars and everything. Uh, there's even details like underneath the, the bridge where there's like light and everything so it looks really nice at night. A lot of upside down stairs and everything. Uh, nice little water coming out of the, the center of the of everything there. Oh yes, I can't believe I believe yeah, I forgot to talk about the uh, descending fountains here. Basically it starts off small, medium, big, it gets bigger as it goes towards the center, which is down here. And those are the uh, windows on the second floor of the uh, uh, Enchantment shop and blacksmith shop and I believe if I remember correctly down here Yeah, there's more windows for the enchantment and blacksmith shop on the other side Anyways, we'll go ahead and get back over here uh, We've got the uh, uh, Things here the, the everything the 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 tunnel entrance here uh, You really can't get up uh, here without using like a compass or, or whatnot but there's kind of a point to that. There's really not meant to be much, if anything, in here. I mean, this somebody went through and, and added this bit here because this was originally not here. I didn't do that. But uh, basically, it just brings you into the, the towers here. And then the only way to access that space which somebody decided to seal off. Probably they didn't like looking at the uh, natural stone and everything. The only way down there, and by the way, I feel like somebody messed with this because I feel like this, the the uh, brick here should have overhung a little bit. And you've got a nice little circular fountain there. Get up top as it, it goes into the, uh, into the, the uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the mountain. Anyways, the only way in to the uh, that section there was from a window on this side I think or was there even a way no there wasn't a way on this side uh, on the opposite side of the tower there was a way into that section or the opposite side of the uh, uh, which call it the 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 tunnel I keep blanking on words anyways we've got this nice long uh, tunnel here. I'm just going to skip through most of it. I mean, you guys can see everything here. A lot of the inspiration for the design for this came from uh, Haven on Lord of the Craft. Uh, both the old and the new version. And we've got the, the back end of the tunnel here. Pretty much the exact same entrance. Actually, I did copy and paste it. Uh, and I'm going to jump onto somebody's tower here. There we go. That was the, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, oh god the uh, the way in here and apparently nobody's messed with this side but anyways as for Nubtown this building with here with the beacon on it that was the Nubtown Inn I built uh, we'll go ahead and go through that last because my other additions to Nubtown really aren't that much it was just a farm and a mine so those will be real quickly I'm really liking how people are doing their designs here great idea looks great Oh, this is signs with arrows and everything. Ooh, zombie. Anyways, 
uh, we have the uh, uh, the farm here, right over here. People are not replanting it quite the way they should, but it's, I mean, it, it looks like it's been replanted more than the last time I saw it. And people have, I think, changed some of the, the paths and everything. Partially probably because somebody went in and added this tunnel here, which I'm, I'm glad that they uh, uh, kept with kind of the similar design from the, uh, uh, the inn. But yeah, that was a, a, a waterfall I made myself to go into this pond here. I just thought it ended up looking pretty nice. And then this is the mine itself. Uh, there were like five different tunnels here all leading down. Yeah, you had one there, one there, the same on the other side, and then the main tunnel there. And uh, like I said, there's really not much to it. Now the inn, uh, Potato did not uh, do a tour of the inside of the inn. I kind of wish he had because I, I think it looks really neat there, but he didn't. Anyways, on the first floor here, we have where the innkeeper would be, which is accessed through this hallway here, which is basically the, the innkeeper's private area. He's got the, the hearth there. This is like the kitchen where they would make all the food for serving in the, in the, the dining room. This is like the, the innkeeper's private sitting room. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this would be the innkeeper's bedroom here under the stairs. I really like the way that this fireplace turned out with the, the mantle and everything. I, I really love how it turned out. But um, anyways, back over here we have the, the main dining room. You've got a large table around the pillar here, several bits of seating on the, on the uh, edges. I think I maybe should have put in more tables over here rather than uh, chairs and benches and everything, but oh well. Um, going up the staircase here. Brings us to the first floor where all the rooms are. Uh, the rooms are fairly similar. They're all pretty much exactly the same size. There's like four or five rooms on this floor. And then we go over here which has another seating area with uh, more interesting chairs. Yeah, another dining room. More interesting chairs and a, a balcony to go down or to look down at the, the main uh, seating area. Then we've got the staircase here which takes us up to the third level, which is pretty much just uh, rooms. And again, like I said, all the rooms are pretty much the same. Uh, double bed, uh, bookcase, and uh, a chest. And I have no idea what happened to the block there. I don't know why it's missing. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go up to the fourth level. And this is the start of the attic area. Uh, the rooms, again, are all the same. However, actually, some of the rooms are a little bit smaller, uh, partially because of the, the ceilings and everything. But they do have open windows. And riddled throughout this place are... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Riddled throughout this place are little uh, Juliet balconies where you can get a nice little view of the area. Like here we can see the uh, entrance to the tunnel there, somebody's tower there, there. And a whole bunch of other things of what people are building in Nubtown. Uh, again, there's another balcony on this side. You can see people's builds, like somebody uh, built a house in the mountain there and everything. Nice little fountain here behind that one, which uh, is the uh, staircase up to the, uh, yeah, the final attic level, where the room here is longer, but it's not really bigger. I mean, if you know what I mean. The room is longer because there's really not much else you could do here. I could have I could have uh, put the the door here, and the room would be like a normal sized room. But you'd have this like whole extra space here with nothing in it. Uh, down here we've got just a couple extra rooms here. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And then finally the last staircase up to the tower rooms. Okay, I take that back. There were a couple more. Uh, another one more attic level with like really tiny rooms though uh, and Drusso's room of epicness apparently somebody actually did take a room and it looks like okay I see what happened I think yeah yeah he moved the wall 
He moved the wall over. That's what happened. That's what screwed this room up. I don't know why he did that. Really, he should not have. I mean, it's one thing to take a room and decorate it, but when you start moving walls, that's when you, you start messing things up. You really should not have done that. I'm not going to go through and fix it right now, but... Anyways, up here is the tower room. I just got to go up a couple levels to uh, King Mark Boy or Marky Boy's tower or King Mark Boy's room or whatever. Again, he locked it so I can't show off the room, but I'm glad that at least some people did take the rooms. So anyways, that's all I have to show for you guys today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.